Unraveling the quacktastic phrase, duckhead. Hello, lovely learners. Today, we're diving into a rather quirky expression in the English language. Are you ready to explore the meaning of the phrase, duckhead? Whether it's used on the playground or seen in literature, this phrase has both literal and figurative feathers to ruffle. Let's get started and unlock the mysteries behind it. When we look at the phrase, duckhead, it's important to understand it in its most straightforward sense. Literally, a duckhead is just that, the head of a duck. Picture a duck in your mind, the flat bill, the beady eyes, and that smooth head movement. It's simple yet iconic. In English, especially in children's literature or nature descriptions, you might come across this term used quite literally to describe the head of our feathered friend. Now, let's wade into deeper waters. Figuratively speaking, duck head can take on a very different meaning. In some contexts, this phrase might be used as a teasing nickname or a light-hearted insult. It's akin to calling someone, silly goose. It's not meant to be deeply offensive but rather playful or teasing. However, context is key. Be mindful of tone and situation when deciphering or using idiomatic language like this. Within popular culture, phrases like, duckhead, might crop up in unexpected places. From titles of cartoons to playful brand names, the imagery of a duck can represent humor, simplicity, or nature. If you encounter duckhead in popular culture, look around at the context to find out if it's being used for comedic effect, brand identity, or perhaps as a mascot. It's crucial to note that while some animal-related phrases are benign, others can be offensive in certain cultures or contexts. Always use phrases like duckhead with care remember what's funny or harmless in one culture could be misunderstood in another it's always best to know your audience and the connotations of such phrases in their language and culture and there you have it a little exploration into the phrase duckhead whether you come across it in a book or hear it in conversation now you know the layers it can have we hope this video has been both informative and entertaining. Keep on learning and smiling, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!